Hello, Calculus students. I hope you are having a great day. Um, this is the uh, Sunday video for Math 213 on September 27th, 2020. Um, you just finished your test number two, and so I'll be talking about that, and I'll try to make this uh, a short video, and I will be sharing a, uh, my Canvas um, screen with you. So uh, here we go. All right, so as you know, our Canvas uh, is structural, uh, structured around modules, and uh, we had the chapter two module, and you have just finished chapter three as, uh, as a module, and then we'll be going into chapter four. So this week, your assignment will be to study section one, section two, section three, section four, the first four sections of uh, chapter four. And as you can see here, chapter four is about differentiation of functions of several variables. Okay, just so you know, um, we have covered uh, chapter two, and then you just had a test on chapter three. Chapter four is the last chapter on differentiation. After this, we'll have chapter five and chapter six, both on integration of multivariable functions. All right, so chapter four, you are learning about new, a new type of functions, and that's why section one, 4.1, is very lengthy. Uh, you may have already found out because um, I told you and I, I warned you how long this uh, one section is. Um, and then two is theoretical about limits and continuity. Uh, three, four, and five, uh, and even six, those are pretty straightforward. Section seven on maxima and minima, uh, extrema, uh, and also the uh, uh, optimization problems. Section four will be a very long section. All right? So just, just so you know, section one and section seven will be long. The other ones are pretty reasonable, all right? And then of course you have the test number three later, uh, uh, October 14th is your next test. All right, so let me explain what um, happened on test number two. Uh, I will have some data for you from test number two. All right, so this past week you took test number two. I have graded your tests and um, it took me some time, but you should have uh, your score available on um, in uh, Canvas. And uh, I just want you to know the average was 81%, all right? And then uh, I think at least one student got a 100, did not miss any problems whatsoever or any points. And uh, this is the distribution of the grades and the standard deviation, if this makes any, uh, sense to you. Uh, this just tells you uh, how spread out these numbers are. But anyway, overall, this has been pretty good. Um, you know, certainly 81 is a pretty high uh, score for a, a, a typical calculus test. So well done, and I hope you continue to uh, um, do well and keep up the good work. Uh, one very important thing, as you already know, in the calculus class is not to get behind, all right? And now you do have flexibility because you don't have to attend, you know, class Mondays and Wednesdays, as typically um, happens with other, um, you know, face-to-face -face class. But, um, you know, if you get a, a couple of sections behind in one week and then maybe another section or two the following week, it's very difficult for you to, um, you know, to uh, get caught up again. All right, so as you continue to um, um, make progress through chapter four, you know, um, just make sure that you do study the first four sections this, uh, this week, all right? And that's about it. Um, we, uh, I do continue to have my office hours uh, through Zoom, Monday and uh, Mondays and Thursdays from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Uh, new study groups have been created. The old study groups are gone now. So uh, work with your members of the new study groups as you, uh, uh, you know, as you um, study and uh, work on these new sections. Um, I hope uh, this makes sense. All right, and then just as a final note, um, as you uh, go into these sections like 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, some of these sections require you to have a handout, okay? And I have included those handouts uh, wherever uh, you need them uh, in the uh, study, well, in the uh, module, all right? So um, I, um, if I were you, I would print them out before I would watch those videos, right? And, and as you watch these videos, which are like our lecture, you know, fill out the, uh, or fill in the blanks um, in these uh, worksheets, and that will help you uh, get good grip and good understanding of the material. All right, so the uh, four sections, 
And uh, every section starts just like calculus one. If you look at the you know, topics, we're talking about differentiation, linear approximation, continuity limits, chain rule, this time chain rules, uh, and uh, derivatives, maximum, minimum. Uh, they all sound familiar, right? Because you studied them in calculus one, all right? So you just add one or two dimensions and there it is. That's what you'll be learning this week. All right, so have a great week. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.